hi friends welcome back to angular tutorial in this video i will going to show you how to integrate bootstrap in your angular application as a front-end developer you should know how to integrate bootstrap in your application and it's very easy to integrate bootstrap inside the angular application so you need to run simple command and it will integrate automatically so i will integrate first and i will show you some demo on bootstrap integration okay so to integrate first go to the official website so angular bootstrap okay so if we just go to the first link that is ng bootstrap github.io so you can see that is the bootstrap widgets okay so you can demo it and you can get started now but before that we integrate the bootstrap so the command is ng add add the rate ng bootstrap slash ng bootstrap okay so just copy this and just go to the terminal and paste it so just enter this it will automatically integrate bootstrap so it will take some time so just use we would like to proceed that is yes so it will install angular in your application okay so actually i am using the latest angular version so i will show you later so it is installing the latest bootstrap so if we just check the angular version we are using the angular latest version so that is 12.0.2 and i am integrating this bootstrap so there's a reason it's showing the warning they're using the package manager that is npm i'm going to find the compatible package so let's see how it's working actually last day i updated the angular version and along with the node version and npm version so all are updated in my system okay so let's see how it's changed in our system so here you can see there is some files that is changed so if you go to the visual studio code you can see there is some files changes that is first one is package.json so if you go to the dependency section we can see that is angular bootstrap is integrated that is 9.1.1 and if you just go to the angular.json inside the styles that is integrated the angular bootstrap main.css okay so it's cool we don't need to write it manual it will automatically integrate it in your application so let's try some example okay so before that we need to do one thing so as we are installing the bootstrap we need to restart our server and i'm just closing my previous server and i am rerunning so using ng serp we need to rerun your application okay so it will take some time to compile the full projects so compiled successfully so if we just go to the browser we can see the angular tutor bootstrap integration so it is coming from app.component.html that is the default component so i will show you some example well how to use bootstrap so just go to the site that is the angular site so get started now so i will write some component so before started the example we need to talk about some things that is my angular version is higher than 9 that means my angular version is 12 so here is the written that is the installation process you should know if your angular version is less than 9 then it will not works okay so for that we need to use some defined process so here all the things are written over there so as my application is latest and the version is greater than 9 there's a reason it is working okay so let's see some example so just go to the components and here you can see there is lots of things that is you can do that is accordion alert button carousel okay so whatever you want to do you can do so i am first starting with accordion so how to use this accordion into your application so here is the accordion so i am taking some more beautiful example so that is the toggle panel so i want to use these things okay so how we can indicate it's very simple so all the codes are written in this website so just go to the code and you can see there is the accordion toggle.html and accordion toggle.ts so basically they are using the accordion toggle component but for now i want to show in my component that is the app component.html you can use any component okay so not like that you need to use only these things so i just copy these things that is from html file and we need to write this in our html file okay 
and here we can see that is accordion toggle.ts so we don't need to change anything in our ts file so if we just go to the browser we can see there is the there is the accordion part is displaying in our application so just click on the first panel so it's working okay and click on second it is also working so where is the button so if i just check the button section so here we know that toggle first toggle second but we have not copied these things so just use these things from here to here and we'll also get property also okay so very easy and we can do it okay so here we can see the toggle first and the toggle second okay so now let's take another example so suppose i am going to see some alerts so how can we do this so for alert just copy the code so here is the code okay and just write in inside your html file that is any component html file and here for ts file so we don't need to write anything so we just save this and just go to the browser you can see there is the alert okay so in this way we can use any of this from this site and it's very simple and it is the easy process to beautify your application so please comment if you have any queries about this video so from next day i will going to discuss about some more advanced topics that is the routing system so we'll basically create a menu and using the menu i want to navigate into another another page okay so don't miss that video so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day